What's good, Relentless Gang? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, sir. All right, so you guys, man, we got Saucy Santana. He's wanted JT for abandoning young Miami. Saucy said, JT, if you want to smoke, bro, violate the girl, young Miami. No matter what's going on with her and Diddy. Saucy said, he got Miami back, bro. This is crazy. Never thought I'd seen the day. Saucy speaks on JT about you. Bro, the Hollywood is getting weirder and weirder, bro. Let's get it. Spicy. But what I want to know, because you know how much we love y'all together. What is so, the coming up? Child, for all we know, we may never get another album from Carisha and JT together as City Girls. Maybe it's because just like people have been saying, their career has run its course. Or maybe it's because something nasty has been happening behind the scenes. Y'all, by now we already know that there's some silent beef going on between Young Miami and JT, and Saucy Santana obviously picked Miami's side, and he's making that pretty obvious. Baby, like any other friendship, JT and Miami have had their bad days, but we started to notice that things were pretty messy when Miami shaded JT publicly. Before we knew it, JT unfollowed the City Girls account, and now we have Saucy Santana and JT unfollowing each other on the gram? But what really is the issue here? Is it true that there are problems because JT has always been jealous of Carisha? And why are Cardi B and Nicki Minaj also catching strays with this beat? Chow! I know we all need answers, and we are going to try and figure out what's happening with JT and Carisha together. So the streets are saying that the beef between JT and Carisha have everything to do with them having deeper problems behind the scenes, one of them being that JT has always been jealous of Carisha. Now this is an allegation that is not new because for a while now, some people have been claiming that Carisha has been doing better than JT, and that makes JT feel a certain way. People are even pointing out to interviews where it was apparently clear that JT had always been jealous of Carisha. Like there's an interview City Girls did on The Breakfast Club where Carisha was speaking about her experience with people bashing her, saying she doesn't deserve success. In the interview, Charlemagne asked JT how she felt about what Carisha was experiencing, and JT basically said she got called lazy for two years because Carisha was making moves. So now that she's making moves, Carisha can't get mad because the smoke is on her now. From JT's response, people pointed out that it was awkward because that's not what Carisha was talking about and she never compared herself to JT, nor did she say she had a problem with JT making moves. But JT was there talking about how now that she's making moves, Miami shouldn't be mad. In addition, there are also some DMs that were making rounds from an account that appears to be from JT where she was like, I'm thinking about leaving the group. I don't want to be a city girl no more. I'm tired of Carisha. She pissed me off so bad. You don't even know. I want her dead. Then when Whoa. JT was asked what Carisha had done, she said nothing. She just gets on my nerves. I hate her so much. Chow, I want her dead is unhinged. Especially unhinged. considering JT Dang. specifically said that Carisha had not done anything to her. Well, it's possible that the messages were fake, but one thing people have been saying is that Carisha and JT only tolerate each other and don't get along at all. Anyway, like I said, because Santana has always been closer to Carisha, it would make sense that he would pick Carisha over JT. However, in the last couple of days, it appears as if something else is also going on between Santana and JT that has nothing to do with Carisha. Because even though there have been whispers that Carisha and JT are not okay, Santana and JT still followed each other on Instagram until a few days ago, which means that something else may have happened between Santana and JT to cause them to unfollow each other on Instagram. Well, initially, a lot of people were saying that the beef between JT and Saucy Santana is also about Nicki Minaj. Hold on, wait a minute, Saucy. Wait a minute, Saucy. Hold up, man. Now, I know fashion when I see fashion. Now, first of all, whatever Saucy got on, that's Saucy. I understand that, but I'm just talking about the shoes. What type of shoes are those, bro? The, the platform is like that thick. The, can somebody please tell me what kind of shoes these is, bro? I'm just saying, people put... Bro, it seems like celebrities wear some weird stuff to say they got so much money. They, some of them may have on shoes. Their shoes look like they was cutting grass in them. Bro, these celebrities have on some weird stuff. 
to say they have so much money. I'm not lying. And that the beef a between JT them, and Saucy Santana is also about Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Now, if you've been following Saucy Santana, you know that he's been pretty loud about that Cardi support. For instance, while on the carpet of the 2023 MTV Video Music Awards, he took a moment to chat with Billboard and during the brief yet engaging interview, he exuded excitement and enthusiasm for what the evening had in store. One of the standout moments from the interview that had him eagerly anticipating the show was the live performance of Bongos by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Santana specifically said he could not wait for that performance, acknowledging that it would undoubtedly be a highlight of his night. In previous interviews, Saucy Santana also credited Cardi B as one of his early inspirations, and recently, he's just been going heavy on that support. Like, he's trying to get under somebody's skin, and by somebody, I mean JT. I mean, y'all know that JT has been team Nicki Minaj from the very beginning, and as we know, Nicki and Cardi are not really besties. And just like Santana has been going hard for Cardi, JT has been going hard for Nicki, including in the last beef between Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki, where JT posted her support for Nicki, saying, I salute Nicki Minaj for not tapping out and still dropping music no one is so many odds against her it's big money to end Nicki but it's a bigger god keep being you your legacy will never be undone Nicki Minaj I love you so because Santana and JT support different camps of rivalry it was easy for people to think that it's the reason why they're fighting but since I personally don't see where Carisha comes in in all of that I am more inclined to believe that there's something else happening with Carisha and JT. In fact, when it comes to JT and Carisha, fans realized that something was definitely up when a few days ago, Cardi B posted a freestyle to her song, Like What? As you can see from the clip, Cardi posted she was wearing a classy pink outfit and literally a few minutes after Cardi posted the video, JT posted a photo from Milan Fashion Week in a very similar outfit. Of course, guys caught what she was trying to do and the comment section was full of people telling her that posting that literally minutes after Cardi B was given, clout chasing. I know it's possible that she just posted the photos because she thought she looked good, but the thing is JT had other outfits from Fashion Week, but the fact that she decided to post the outfit that looked like Cardi's right after Cardi posted her video made it look like she was trying to start something with Cardi. Well, that is if Cardi didn't start something first. Apparently, there are people who picked up a bit of shade thrown at JT and Nicki Minaj in Cardi's song when she said, there are two people who hate her and now they are friends. Remember, Cardi previously referred to JT as Nicki's lapdog in 2022 after JT purposefully left her out of a congratulatory message for her collaboration with Glorilla. What happened at the time was that JT wrote in response to people calling her out for collaborating with Nicki Minaj. I'm not like that at all. I've been doing remixes and never got credited on a chart, but they get sung word for word and help push the original songs as intended. Unlike y'all, well, I can't even say y'all because you don't rap, you too. Tweet. Congratulations, Glow, and Stream, FNF, Remix, and Queen Mix. Girl, everyone knows the song was a collaboration, so for JT to congratulate Glow and leave out Cardi, even I have to admit that that was shady. And that right there is what prompted Cardi to call JT Nicki's lapdog. What followed was a nasty Twitter exchange where JT told Cardi to go fetch a real talent after claiming Whoa. that they were talking in the DMs and Cardi was shading her publicly. In response, Cardi clapped back by telling JT that she should look at the rating on their songs because the song which City Girls did with Cardi is their song that has the most views. Anyway, here's where things get even messier with JT and Carisha. While people were dragging JT for copying Cardi, Young Miami went to Cardi's page and liked the video. Well, the like is not there anymore because when people also told Carisha that she was being shady and throwing JT under the bus, she went ahead and withdrew her like. Child, the fact that she knew people were dragging JT and still behaved like nothing had happened when she could have defended her was a little sus. And the fact that she liked Cardi's post, knowing very well that JT was being drugged through the mud because of that same post was honestly shady. But then again, this is not the first time Carisha has let JT receive all the heat and even fueled it. Girl, we've been seeing how Miami been neutral on JT's battles, yet JT has always publicly helped her fight her online battles. You know, that also makes me question between Carisha and JT who really is the fake friend. I don't know y'all, but what I am certain is, is that there's something going on and Santana has picked a side. And while we are still trying to figure it out, I would love to know your thoughts. Do you think Carisha pushed Santana to unfollow JT? In your opinion, has JT always been jealous of Carisha? Is Carisha the fake one of the two? And what do you think could be the reason they are beefing? Drop those thoughts in the comment section below.
Man, dang, bro. The City Girls. JT got smoked. Well, San, Sa Saucy Santana, Santana got smoked with JT. Now, this the thing, you guys. Listen. I've never seen this day coming between JT and Young Miami. I, I, I really didn't until that Breakfast Club interview. When Charlemagne the guy asked Carisha, Young Miami, how she feel about a certain situation. And JT came back with a response, a response that sounds like it was hate. She said that she's back and she's making moves. And now basically like people hating on her. Because she's back and she's making moves. I don't think Young know, Miami is hating on JT or was it? But looking at the video and paying some attention, JT facial expressions do show everything. And it kind of, to me, it seems like JT might have always been jealous of Carisha, bro. I promise you, because your, your eyes, your body language, it all, it tells everything. Energy matches energy, bro. And I think a lot of people in Hollywood and his industry and rap, music, celebrities, movies, everything, bro, it's all on the one big umbrella, and that's called Holly Weird, bro. And nothing lasts forever in Hollywood. Nothing, not even husbands and wives. So these two are just friends. If a husband and a wife can't make it together, what you think about friends? You dig? Man, make sure, man, yo, listen. We, make, listen, y'all. Make sure y'all go over there and follow me on TikTok. If y'all don't follow me on nothing else, bro, Relentless Lex 1, go over there and follow me on TikTok. We'll be having a good time over there. But while we over here, man, let's make sure we subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 subs, you guys. We're almost there, gang. Gang, gang, gang. Love, 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 man. Y'all know what it is, man. This your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex. I'm signing off. Get in.